Time's up on using the old posting tool in Facebook. However, we got the new Creator Studio. I'm going to show you how to post from Facebook to Instagram, but also how to monetize those posts. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Your Digital Mindset, the channel devoted to you, the digital marketer, your mindset, and especially your online business. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. If you actually get value out of this video, comment down below and pound the notification bell so you get alerted when we drop new videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday between 6 6 30 p.m. Eastern Time. All right. So when I did the video the other day, I just come across just come across the tool and I was so excited because I'm trying to post from Facebook to Instagram at the same time because I do a lot of auto posting because I've got followers all over the world. I'm not bragging, I'm just telling facts. I got people everywhere. I got 10,000 members in my Facebook group alone. And I need to have content churning out 24 seven, you know, every day I'm trying to find how to post to, you know, both of them. Cause I don't want to post, do two auto posts. I mean, it's take forever. I found the tool and, but I did at that time, I didn't know they were taking the old version away. The old Facebook posting tool. Good deal. I already learned how to use this tool. So I'm going to show you how to use it today, but also how to do a little trick where you can learn how to monetize it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about now. So here we are at the creator studio. Now let's say, for example, we want to post a post and let's just make it for, let's go for two o'clock tomorrow. So if you want to post to Facebook alone, you put, you go here. But if you want to go to Facebook and Instagram, you click on this icon. All right. Now what we're going to do is today we're going to, we're going to find out, we're going to find a piece of content. I go to Feedly and this is something else I shared in a separate video the other day, two to two separate videos. I showed how to post from the creator studio, but also showed how to monetize post the other day. I'm going to show you both tricks in one video today. You get a treat. So anyway, let's find us an article that we like tons of content here. Another place I find great content is in my inbox. So check your inbox for good, good content. Other marketers share good content with you. So make sure to check there now. So I get through here and I find me something that I think that my audience would be interested in something I like as well. But let's just say there's a ton of stuff on coronavirus. Um, and it is a tough situation we're all in, but you know, those of us who have been working from home for quite some time, like I have, we're not missing a beat there. We know how to you know, work from home. Um, if you're just watching this, trying to figure out a way to work from home, you're in the right place at the right time. Cause I can definitely show you that. Uh, if you want to join our team, click on the link below. Uh, it wasn't a plug for that. I just thought I'd throw it out there while I'm talking to you. So let's just say you thought your, um, your audience might enjoy this article. Okay. It's a lot of articles on coronavirus right now. So it's hard for me to find something really digital marketing related. Uh, that might be more interesting to my audience. But either way, we're going to, I'm just trying to show you an example of how you can do it. So, okay. So you clicked on the video in, in Feedly and I always go down to the bottom while you can read most of the articles sometimes in this view, I click on visit website. And then once I get to the website, this looks like it's from Mashable and Facebook, Google, Twitter, and others join forces to fight coronavirus fake news. Okay. I have no idea if my audience wants to read that they might, they might not. But I'm just trying to show you an example of how to monetize eventually a piece of content and post it to Facebook and Instagram at the same time. So you take this, you copy that URL here, you go over to a place called snip.ly snipply and you post the URL in there, create a snip. And what this does is you create a snip. And see, I've created a tab. If you want to know how to do this, drop a comment below. I'll show you how to create the tab. But what happens is whenever I copy this snip and I'll put it over here in a new browser, new page, if you look here now, this piece of content, this article, okay, it's just it looks just like it did when we visited it originally. But if you see here, it's got our tab here, your digital mindset, want more from your biz, meet your future. That was put on top of this website by Snipply. And when they click there, what I want to meet my future. Look what happens. They end up on my site. They end up on my landing page, my opt-in page, squeeze page. So this is how you can monetize depending on what your offer is. But uh, either way you can guide them from wherever the content is, put your snip on it and then, you know, drive them to wherever you want them to land. So I'm getting at, that's how you can monetize it. So that's really cool. I thought you might enjoy that. Um, and also, if you're not trying to monetize it, but you just want to be able to track it, you can also do the same thing with snapped.io and on snapped.io, you can actually customize the URL. So once you get the shortened URL, you can also add like your brand to the end of it. 
So it'd be like snapdiet.io slash your brand. Okay. So there's that. So then once we get our shortened URL, we're going to go back over to the creator studio. Here we are here. We're going to go to Instagram. Now, Instagram likes pictures and videos and things like that. People aren't there for this kind of stuff. However, I'm just trying to give you an example of how you can post to both of them. Uh, you have to decide whether the piece of content you're posting is relevant to both platforms. That's your call. I'm just giving you an example of how you can do it. All right. Now, so let's go in there and you see I've published, you know, I've got them set up. I've been publishing. I try to publish every day. I, I don't pu publish nearly as much to Instagram as I do to Facebook. But then again, I've got 10,000 followers on Facebook. So I'm, I got a lot more obligation and responsibility to Facebook. All right. By the way, I do try to start sharing on Instagram. I just got involved in Instagram recently in the last few weeks. So I'm starting to try to, you know, get my presence on there. A little more omni-channel presence uh, for my marketing efforts. All right. So now we're going to create a post. Instagram feed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my little thing in there. Pop my little shortened URL. Okay. Go up here and say, did you see what Google, Twitter, I think it said Google, Twitter, and Facebook, and Facebook are working on. Okay, and then you're, um, you're going to want to put your own picture in here because, again, Instagram is picture-oriented. It's a visual thing. So we're going we're to pick a, a file, and I'm just going to slap a picture in there like this. Pick that right there. All right, so we got that picture there. Then you click on here to post it to your Facebook page. You click on a time. Schedule it for, you know, whenever today at 739. Great. And then you come down here, you click on schedule. This is for Instagram. You click schedule. You can do different times or the same time, uh, depending on what your auto, whatever your auto post sequence is looking like on each, on each platform. You can adjust the times to fit into a gap you've got on different posts, or you can just make it its own post altogether. But I've got 50 posts already scheduled. So I'll just slip mine in somewhere. I'm not going to post this right here because I've already got this picture posted. So either way, I want to show you that's how you do it. You post to Instagram and Facebook by going into your creator studio. But I also want to mention one other thing while I'm in there. You want to get um, hashtags on here. So you'll go, you've got your link there. And then I like to do some little spaces right here. So my hashtags aren't up front, especially when it posts to Facebook. I don't want them to be clogging up the visual on Facebook. And you go in here and just slap some hashtags in there. Generally, I've got some hashtags. I've got some saved. You can see here that I've got several different groups of hashtags saved. You don't want to have the same hashtags every time. So you pick a group of hashtags, slap them in there, and then you're done with that part. And then it'll post to Facebook and Instagram. And again, you've got a cloaked link where you can drive people to your landing page from the post. Really cool. I really like it. I'm getting some results from it. Get a lot more followers, a lot more clicks, that kind of thing. And again, you can track clicks and you know activity on those links by looking at your analytics here. Or over here, you can do it on Snipply as well. Um, it'll show you the amount of it'll show you the amount of clicks you've made, and also the uh, the snips created and clicks you've had. All right. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, please go over there and do that. Please, like I said, we got ten thousand members now. So happy about that. Also, if you'd like to be a part of our team, which would be awesome, put your name and email in here at yourdigitalmindset.com. Click there. And you'll be a part of our team. You get some free ebooks for joining in this ebook right here, Aiming Higher Strategies, all about mindset. Mindset is everything. Mindset dictates our actions, and actions produce our results. Okay? All right, guys, if you want to be part of our team, we'd love to have you as part of our family. If not, I'll see you in the next video. It's Chaz here with yourdigitalmindset.com, and I definitely hope to see you on the inside. Thanks a lot.